Okay, so good evening everybody and well when I was uh, streaming Gems of War earlier today, um one of my regulars wanted me wanted me to wanted me to do a commentary video on um on some forum thread that they did recently about uh about the Chris Crinkle ban. Um but yeah, so I figured, eh, what the hell, why not? So I thought I'd go ahead and go for it. Um but uh like you like usual, um I am gonna have some music going in the background. Uh, this time around, it's gonna be, uh, Burrito Bison. Kinda like yesterday. I'm, it's just where my head's at. Yesterday, I played, uh, I played some, like, 2010 Flash game music. Um, I just have that on loop. Uh, most, most certainly, I'll be doing it this time around, too. Uh, this is gonna be a Burrito Bison. Again, it's another, it's a Flash game I used to play the living hell out of back in the day. Um, but yeah, it also had some, it also had some awesome music on it as well. I thought I'd go ahead and play some, play some this time. So let's go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, let's see, incorrect band, missing trophies, campaign stars, event scores. Status to cause of the problem has been fixed. Oh. oh, let me, let me, let me go back. I, I'm not a, I don't, I don't see this forum style very often. I'm used to, I'm used to the kind you see on, say, uh, D and D Beyond, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, those kind of games, those kind of forum styles, um, RuneScape, World of Warcraft. Actually, I take actually I take that back. World of Warcraft, they kind of have the style, but I haven't played that game in many many years. So, anyway, getting back to the subject, the bug was fixed on Boxing Day. One part. Yeah. Yeah, it was this one here, last I heard. That was, like, the... Oh, what's it called? The uh, the anti-cheat system that this game has. It kind of kicked in. Kicked in and started banning players because they thought they were cheating. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! You are now banned from Gems of War! Um... There will be an extra vault event weekend? Oh, so... So they kind of left that a bit up in the air. So for all I know, the next vault weekend could be next December. You know, December of 2023. So kind of getting the filler and being strung along. Kind of curious as to how they came up with the uh, came up with the number. So I'm guessing, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you're uh, your big high caliber content creator, the the big powerful players, they could probably they could, I mean they could probably make 200 gems in their sleep. They probably I'm if I was to toss a number out there, they probably make a thousand gems a day. So 200 is going to seem like a drop in the bucket. No, you're probably still going to leave it on. And... I mean, unless, uh, unless this kind of thing happens all the time, like, like, unless they've had numerous Kris Kringle incidents throughout the years, I mean, I'd, 
can't I can't see why they just want to want to shut it down. I mean, otherwise, for the most part, it's just working as intended. Okay. So, it seems I kind of got off on the back foot on this. I'm too distracted by listening to this awesome song. So, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to find a different album here. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, I gotta... I gotta find another another album that I know isn't copyrighted. I uh, wish I could find one, so yeah. It's, sorry for the slowdown. Probably something ambient. I'm still looking. Still looking. Okay, I'll just go with this one here. So, I guess we'll have to go back to all reliable. So, yeah, this is going to be all the same, their self-titled album. I play this kind of music from time to time on other on other videos. So, it's just some uh, acoustic ambient music. Should be less distracting. All right, so, well, let's pick up where we left off. Um, allegedly non -ex Okay, again, kind of like, kind of like what I said, I said a few minutes ago. I can't see them turning off, getting rid of the auto band system, unless this kind of thing happens all the time. But um, throughout the time that I've been playing Gems of War, I, this is the only time that I could think of. So based on that, I mean, I, I, I still keep it in. I mean, I, I get if this is the only time it's happened, I, I'd say it's a fluke. I'm guessing it wants about 10,000 gems or whatever. And I kind of see, and I kind of anticipated this. I'm sure a lot of the, uh, I'm sure a lot of the high level players, yeah, a lot of the high level players could probably get at least a thousand gems a day. So. What they're off was a joke. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, 200. I mean, I mean, for me, I mean, I'm still a fairly new player. I mean, my, I mean, all my troops are ghetto. I mean, all my teams are ghetto, so I'll take the 50. That's, that's about what I make in a day anyway. So far, I kind of like the way I kind of like the highlighting system on this on these forums. It's easy to, I mean, it's bright red and it kind of it really contrasts with the background, so it's easier for you to see what I'm highlighting. But uh, aside from that, the only the only uh, 
two places I can think of that have this kind of forum style is uh, World of Warcraft and Grim, and I just thought of it, Grim Dawn. Um, yeah. I will see what is possible and suggest the vault event. So whatever we end up doing, okay. <laughs> A pencil. We want at least 500 Dragonite. Uh, nobody liked it. You know, that didn't get any likes. I'm also guessing he ain't gonna get no Dragonite either. I didn't know about. So, do they have? Do they have to be players, or do they have to be uh, moderators, or what? Like I said, I, I think um, I know uh, the game Dragon Ball Fighters. A fighting game had kind of the same thing too. Although I don't know exactly how it works, but during the during the uh, during the loading screen, it'll say like a like a it'll show you an anti-cheat logo for some company. Whoops! Come on, back up. I've got 18 likes, so... Oh! So this kind of reminds me of, uh... Of, uh, of claims adjusters. You know, for like, auto insurance, Allstate, etc. They're trying to settle your claim as cheaply as possible. I got a feeling that's what's going to happen here, too. They're going to try to resolve this as cheaply as possible. guys actually keep track, I guess. I mean, but like I said, I'm not... I mean, I'm... I'm not near at this level. I'm still ghetto. So, a lot of this is actually going over my head. Saw the warnings early enough. 
want to avoid. Probably enough to avoid. And, uh, I never even got him. Um, again, I'm not... I'm not as high up there as a lot of other people. So, I wasn't gonna make enough... Make enough currency or whatever it was called to get, a uh, To get everything on that... On that reward... That reward menu. It was either gonna be the, uh... The winner gear or Chris Crinkle. And as, uh... Chris Crinkle looked like a troop that I probably wouldn't use a whole lot. Except maybe very specific bills for very specific times. I just went after the winter gear since I'm guessing something like that only comes like once a year. Or of course, now that I think about it, the, uh, the troop probably does as well, but you kind of get the idea. I probably wear the winter gear a lot more often than I use Chris Crinkle, so... But it kind of... Kind of going back to what I was saying, I had to pick one or the other. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not that powerful enough in this game to be able to just get everything in that rewards menu. So it's got to be one or the other. I had to pick one. So. Oh! I can hold my players quitting to a point where it's really high to this. The players actually quit over this, huh? I've seen that. I've seen that in MMOs over the years. Some game developer will roll out a new change. A bunch of people get pissed off about it. And quit the game, never to be seen and heard from again. I guess they do it in this game, too. He's talking about guilds. I thought he was talking about players. Like, I don't know. I'd be lucky to get maybe, to venture a guess, probably a thousand. I don't know. But I, he's, yeah, he's talking about guilds. get behind this though if only because it's only one single event and not a series of them so it's basically a one-stop shopping I can say on this, I never got Chris Crinkle, but I was also never banned either. So, unjustly banned. I'll move on. I have four seven here, but what? Once again, this is. 
This is about probably what I make in a day anyway, 50 gems. Oh wait, this is a this is an earlier post. I invested 300, like, but like I said, I I could probably make in a week maybe 350. So a lot of this goes over my head. this and a bunch of people already did as well I mean I, but I'm, I'm just basing this just on the first one you know I mean did, I think there's some here that was just in the back of my head all along I mean fix your game first you know don't you know I I wouldn't care less about what kind, whatever kind of compensation they gave me. If anything, it could uh, it could almost be like that, like the uh, COVID relief check that we all got a long time ago. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna look and give towards in the mouth, but I think ultimately that was done just to just to uh, silence the critics, you know, because they didn't really want to do much about the, the COVID virus. I think um. There was another there was another incident where where the government gave us these uh compensation checks. I don't remember it was some odd years ago. Kind of the same thing there too. It was, they were basically uh asking the truth to not exist. So I'm kind of I'm seeing kind of a parallel here. You know, so you know, it's like now I guess they're handing they're handing out gems as a way to cover up the fact that uh they have no intention of uh fixing their buggy system. I guess number two. Yeah, evaluate and listen to players' experience towards an adventure truth. Increase what makes your players happy more than for progress and playing time. This guy gets it. He's not asking for he's not asking for monetary compensation. He's just asking for the devs to fix their game. And I'll, and I'll bet that uh, I can't remember any exact incidents, but I'll bet a lot of the other games that I played over the years where there were problems and issues, I'll bet there are a lot of players saying the same thing. They don't give two shits about what, how much you're compensating them. They don't care about the monetary. They just want you to fix the bugs to make it an enjoyable playing experience. Have a way of, yes, same. Well, employees work. You want office clothes off? Well, I mean it's freaking Christmas. I mean hell, uh, Walmart where I work at. I mean Christmas Day, the whole the store is closed. Uh, Thanksgiving as well, the store is closed. I mean even we got that. So, so. Maybe by their reasoning, same as Walmart's, everybody should have a holiday off so they can celebrate. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely against number four. What is or not the chest on a weekly basis? And uh, I actually talked about this during, uh, during my stream. Um, loot boxes. Uh, apparently, by law, by law, uh, games that have any kind of uh, gambling loot box system, they have to post up the percentages. They have to post the odds. But I, but again, I think um, they already do have that kind of system. I actually stumbled, I actually stumbled on it during my stream earlier. There's these percentage chances of uh, those factions in the underworld, like when you, I think it was when you use those purple shards. There's a it'll. There's like a percentage chance of getting a, uh, getting you know a regular, a rare, ultra rare, super rare, quadruple rare, you know, legendary, you know, 
like the there's a percentage chart there. So I don't know about the specific one here, but I mean again, if it's anything like um, if it was anything like today's stream, I'm pretty sure they have it somewhere. They already have one, right? But I don't really know much about that. Or, yeah, but it basically, and I'll bet a lot of players would agree with this. We don't, we don't give a shit, you know, what kind of compensation we get. Just, you know, fix your system. You know, fix that before anything. And, um. I wonder if any of these guys up here actually know that. Uh, this guy here. I invested 300 to 400 gems. I mean, I bet he wouldn't be complaining. I bet he wouldn't be wanting his gems back if, uh, if 505 Studios decided to actually fix the bugs and, you know, you'll never have a problem with it again. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, stuff like this is just, this is just a quick fix. But again, I don't, I can't, I mean, I probably should have said it, you know, way back too about these other time, about these uh, other moments, but I totally, I can totally feel the pain on, or let me rephrase it, I can totally understand where they're coming from on this. But yeah, like I said, I never got banned. And, uh, but yeah, I never, uh, never used Crinkle either. Oh, I'm, I'm reading this totally wrong. And it looks like I'm reading, uh, I just now notice this. I'm reading posts that are like, like two, two and a half weeks old. Well, too late now, I'm already in it. So, not even doing the battles, even without the Prinkle Troop because I put to be it. Okay, so. Too many got banned for using this troop. Doing treasure plus doing battles on Crinkle Mass. Like, like, like I said, I I never got in the troop, so I wouldn't know. Further explanation on this. We have auto hack detection in addition to every ban going past. This is what, um, it goes back to the, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters example I mentioned some time ago. Um, I don't know exactly how it works, but when the game is loading up, it has the little, an like, anti-cheat logo from whatever software they're using. The logo's there. So, I'm guessing, uh, this game here also has that. When they said something's out of whack, it's... It seems uh, the first impulse is to just ban the person. I think maybe... Maybe if they, uh, if they tweak the wording on that, instead of saying your account's been banned, maybe say suspended. You know, suspended until further notice. Yeah, because I think... Especially when, if, um, if anti-cheat soft, if anti-cheat software picks it up, you know, if it's, if it's been picked up by a bot, it needs to, the account needs to be suspended, not banned, you know, because they need to, they need to take a look at it and all that stuff, you know, make sure it's actually legit. So what? Um, so yeah. That, so yeah. The account's been suspended until further notice, or until at least two staff members 
check over what happened, and then if, you know, if the, if it's legit, then you're back, you, know, you kind of get the idea. I'm, uh, I'm starting to lose my grasp of English, so I, I may be uh, stopping this soon. Could be it. But again, it needs to it needs to suspend the account, not just permanently ban it. Or or maybe they wanted a maybe they want maybe they wanted to stay home for Christmas or something. Oh, our incompetence will commit a degree. Yep, I had a feeling it was going to be the first one. <laughs> 20%. I'm guessing these are the, I'm guessing these guys are probably like me. They're like these grizzled old veterans that have been working in the retail industry for so many years. Technically, they did that. I mean, I got 50 gems. That's that's about what I. I mean, that's about what I get in a day. So. Wanted to, I actually wanted to say this at the start of this video, but I totally forgot about it until now. Um, I actually had a, I, I actually had more people on my stream during the time that I, everybody got banned. I actually had a, I had more people on my stream than I ever did on any of my other sessions. So I can't, I can't remember the, I can't remember the exact number, but I think I had. I think I had pro probably close to like what was it, eight people at once on my stream. Usually, usually it's like, usually it's like one, two, or if I'm lucky, maybe three people on at once. Usually I get like, my, like, on average, probably about 20 views on my channel or 20 views on my stream. I think, um, I think during Christmas when all the bans were happening, um, I think I got like. I think it was like 40 or 50. So. Kind of felt, kind of like that scene in Forrest Gump, the, the whole Bubba Gump shrimp thing. They were like the only ones out there in the, they were like the only, the only boat out there like catching the shrimp, like it was in the middle of a storm and stuff. Everybody else's boats were destroyed and they're like raking in all this shrimp. Yeah, I think I posted that on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, too. <laughs> it's like, Bubba Gump's ramp. It's a household name. But yeah, I think um, I'm probably going to end up um, calling it off here uh, pretty, pretty quick. Let me go back up. Yeah, I think you can. There it is. She has said some things in the past that were insane. Where the hell am I? Uh oh. That's how. 
So now they're shooting the messenger. I don't even know what's going on. But, but you know. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. Am I still on the same topic? Holy shit, did this fall off. Yep, I saw this too. I saw this too. Okay. Yeah, it, it didn't really, it didn't really sink in until it didn't really sink in at the time because I was still streaming, still in the middle of you know, playing my game and stuff. We got a bit of a Diablo Immortal moment here. But again, I wouldn't... Yeah, I... Yeah, I just thought of this. Okay. Kind of lame, but... But again, I, should, I wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be going after Kafka for it. As far as I know, she's not... She doesn't make the decisions. I'm guessing she's like the PR person or something. It looks like they're kind of going off topic, and they're also, uh, and sorry to sound like a broken record, but they're also shooting the messenger as well. I mean, on one end, yeah, I totally get this. Okay. Okay, so, so yeah, I'll just um, I'll just go ahead and call it off here. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting um. See if the screen was uh bent off all this time. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm. I'll probably end up reading this on my own time, but uh. But yeah, and plus uh, I'm kind of. Yeah, I can't. I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, I'll just I'll just go ahead and kill it here. But uh, if, if, if you guys managed to make it this far, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it, and um, yeah, I'll I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.